INQ signs agreement with South Korea's Ministry of Science and ICT to cultivate regional quantum computing ecosystem. Alright, so it was announced that INQ signed a Memorandum of Understanding, also known as an MOU, with South Korea's Ministry of Science and ICT, which stands for Information and Communications Technology, to educate quantum science and technology professionals and promote the creation of a local quantum ecosystem. So what exactly is an MOU you ask? Well, an MOU is an agreement between two or more parties outlined in a formal agreement. However, it's not necessarily legally binding, as it depends on each party's intent and the language in the agreement, and moreover, signals the willingness of the parties to move forward with the contract. Additionally, an MOU can be seen as a standing point for negotiations, as it defines the scope and purpose of the talks. Such memorandums are most often seen in international treaty negotiations, but also may be used in high-stakes business dealings such as merger talks. So in INQ's case, this MOU reflects the party's agreement to mutually cooperate in supporting South Korea's growing quantum computing industry. This MOU also aims to harness INQ's resources and experiences to operate education, training, and leadership expansion programs to support masters and doctorate students, postdoctoral researchers, and quantum industry professionals in South Korea. And this MOU was signed on June 27th at Quantum Korea 2023 hosted by South Korea's Ministry of Science and ICT in Seoul, and also leading quantum global innovators gathered at the event, where INQ exhibited its quantum technology and achievements, including its highest performing quantum computer, known as INQ Forte, and their recent achievements demonstrating applications in quantum machine learning. And, Junseng Kim stated, and I quote, to promote the growth of their local quantum computing ecosystems, national and regional governments need to engage with industry partners who have deep understandings of the field. Through this agreement with the Ministry of Science and ICT, we are honored to take part in developing quantum science and technology professionals and preparing South Korea's quantum industry infrastructure. We hope we can contribute to the country's vision of becoming a global quantum-centered economy by 2030 by providing practical support such as education, training, and a leadership expansion program utilizing INQ's specialized quantum computing resources and experience. So overall, another awesome update from INQ that shows just how determined the company is in creating international relations. And if you enjoyed this video, then I suggest you check out this INQ video next, where I go over how INQ is on the road to becoming a profitable company. Thanks as always, and I'll catch you next time.